Hoffman joining us exclusively are two former team captains of the Washington Redskins cheerleaders, Rachel Gill and Charo Bishop. And we want to make clear the Redskins asked you to speak out on the team's behalf. Good morning to both of you. Morning, nice to have you here. Hello. Thank you Thank for, you having, for us. having us. When you read that article about a trip you were on with Redskins cheerleaders, did that sound like the trip that you had gone on, forced to pose topless, having to escort, you know, big wig sponsors and mm -hmm. such to the bar? Not at all. Yeah. We it's can't enough. discount the experiences mm -hmm. that other women had on the team, mm -hmm. but we can bring to light the facts of the circumstances. We, and we each had our own experiences. Mm -hmm. So the topless being forced, just simply not true. Everything, mm -hmm. like Maya and Teddy said earlier, all optional, voluntary. Some girls were excited to do those things. Um, in terms of being an escort, um, that was never a perception that I had. I think that being friendly mm -hmm. and receptive and welcoming to sponsors is completely different than being an escort. Yeah, let's talk just for a second about a couple of things, the topless situation. So mm -hmm. can I just ask a general question? Like, why was there topless photography with people around? What was the point of that? Was it for a calendar so, or? This is a calendar photo shoot, but the perception of topless is completely different from what is um, used in our calendars. We're always covered still, even sure. if there is a topless photo. And again, like we said, we always have the option to say no. We are never forced or told to do something we don't want to do. Do you think it's possible because, as you said, you don't want to discount the women right. experiences, those who spoke to the New York Times, they're not here, but is it possible that someone might have felt? Yeah. Like, even if someone said, it's your choice, but you know how it is sometimes you're, there can be a situation where you're like, I don't know if it's really my choice. Is it possible that they do felt it? like they were forced into mm -hmm. it? I can't speak can't for them. Speak to what they feel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we know that the facts and the circumstances mm -hmm. were that nothing was ever forced upon us and we never felt that way and did were either Rachel you, and I were mm -hmm. you, either of you guys at that sponsor event with the where they said that they felt like they were I think the girls described it as almost felt like they were sort of kind of pimped out like you have to go to this event with and these sponsors those terms pimped out yeah. escort they just need to stop because it's absolutely not what happened and yes I was there and yeah. I did not feel that way um, I, for me, it was a relaxing night with my friends, um, a fun uh -huh. night with my friends. And to put it into context, the women were not selected by the sponsors to uh, escort them to the club. We were always with this, someone we knew. We uh -huh. were always together. Um, there were the two representatives from the Redskins, Dennis and Lon. I have great relationships with them, and I was happy to see them there because, again, putting our safety mm -hmm. first. And I never mm -hmm. felt pressured and it was something that Stephanie our director asked us to do because not asked us they, she wanted to know if we wanted to go mm -hmm. enjoy a night off-site with our mm -hmm. friends I mean we were veterans on the team mm -hmm. we'd already completed our shoots it was we did another zip lining trip sure. as well it's just something mm -hmm. to do together yeah. can I ask you because you know we just saw in the piece there's this, this now larger questions about the culture of NFL cheerleading and whether the cheerleaders are treated with the respect that football players get mm -hmm. whether they are subject to you know in some cases kind of strict rules that seem outside the bounds of what someone else might yeah. be put up to did you guys see any of that do you have any problems with the culture in general the culture behind our environment um, as cheerleaders it's such an empowering and it's a sisterhood it's a bond um, from day one mm -hmm. when we make the team it is um, we're already like as a mm -hmm. kind of help me out here with mm -hmm. the yeah, well, so to answer this question, I do agree. So the NFL is totally male-dominated, right? Mm -hmm. Players, management, yeah. fans. Not to say they're not female employees and female fans, because I am definitely mm -hmm. was one of both, yeah. um, and, and one of both. But the fact that the article painted such a harsh light in the fact that Stephanie, the director of yeah. the cheerleaders, a group of women, women led by one woman, would suggest that it was her responsibility to take care of all of this is pretty yes. preposterous. One final question because this struck me as so outrageous when I read these stats and it really bothered me. I read that an average cheerleader makes $150 per game. The That's on the high end. The low end is $75 per home game. Are we in the ballpark and is that ridiculous to you guys? There have been a lot a lot of strides have been made over the last few years especially from when I started to where they are now. And it's improvement to where they're getting paid better. They're being treated well, timely. Like, being, yeah, but is that the ballpark? Just because I don't know what being paid well is. I can't is. speak for what it is now, and we're not on the team anymore. Right, but is that what it was? Uh, yeah, close. 
Approximately. Approximately, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but Rachel, do you feel, because I can see that it upsets you, Yeah. why? I'm, I hate that this negative light has been portrayed on our organization for something I was so passionate about and so mm -hmm. many women felt this was the best years of their lives. And my experience was never anything that mm -hmm. was portrayed in this article. Mm -hmm. And I loved it and I can't thank Stephanie enough for mm -hmm. the opportunities mm -hmm. that were presented to me. Okay. Thank you so much for Ladies, being here. Not easy you. to come out yeah. and, and, and be in the public eye, so thank you. We appreciate it. Appreciate thank it. you so much, Savannah Hoda. Thanks. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.